Today, I'm going to apply a conventional synthetic below elbow cast. This type of cast is suitable for all indications in and around the wrist. This would include fractures, trauma, orthopaedic conditions and soft tissue injuries. Product required for this application include Benecast stockinette, 2.5 cm and 5 cm, one piece of each. Benecast Select Polyester 7.5 cm, one roll Benecast Synthetic Undercast Padding 7.5 cm, one roll Adhesive Fleecy Web. Using the 5 cm stockinette, make a small cut in line with the base of the thumb. Now apply to the limb, extending from the elbow to the fingers, with the thumb positioned through the hole. Now using the 2.5 cm stockinette, make a small cut at each extremity. Then apply to the thumb, extending from the interphalangeal joint, covering the thena eminence. Now using Benecast Synthetic Undercast Padding 7.5 cm, at approximately 7 cm from the end of the roll, make a small tear. Position this in the web space of the hand and continue around the hand. Then make a second tear to fit into the web space. Now continue around the hand, capturing the ends, and then work down the limb, covering 50% of the previous turn. This will provide a double even layer, which is the foundation of the cast. If you have a patient with vulnerable skin, I would suggest fleecy web for additional protection over bony prominences and sensitive areas. I am applying a small circle that I have pre-cut over the ulnar styloid. And a strip around the distal aspect of the hand that I will trim to fit into the web space. Apply examination gloves as it is important when using synthetic casting material to prevent the polyurethane resin from sticking to your skin. The material of choice today is Benecast Select Polyester. This polyester has very similar characteristics to fiberglass with all the benefits of a polyester. However, other suitable products for this application would include the Benecast Fiberglass and the Benecast Advanced Polyester Casting Material. The choice would depend on the indication and your clinical preference. The setting time can be varied. Several squeezes in the water and a squeeze out of the water will provide a four to five minute set time. Or dip in the water for one to two seconds and squeeze only out of the water. This will provide a six to seven minute set time. Remove the casting material from the pouch and dip the roll into the bucket. The water should be at room temperature 22 degrees and the dip technique appropriate to the level of skill and indication. I will start at the proximal end one centimeter in front of the edge of the padding. This provides a soft edge, covering the previous turn by 50%. Working from inside out and keeping the roll close to the limb, continue along the arm until you reach the base of the thumb. As the casting material is draped across the palm, cut it following the line of the thenar eminence leaving approximately 1.5 centimetres to go through the web space. Continue around the dorsum of the hand and across the palm, then make a second cut to go through the web space as before. Bring the bandage around the wrist to capture the ends and cut off. Turn back the stockinette at each extremity and trim if necessary. The stockinette should not be more than 2.5 centimetres, as this will affect the lamination of the cast and will clog the blade during the removal process. Using the remainder of the bandage, start to wrap around the arm at the proximal aspect, as with the first application. Continue along the arm to the base of the thumb. Cut to go through the web space only once, Continue around the wrist and capture the loose ends. 
Then cut off the roll. Now mould the cast well. This will ensure excellent lamination, providing a strong, well-fitting cast. You need to mould with one hand and hold with the other. I'm using my Thena Eminence against the patients, and this will ensure an excellent fit around the hand, as this material holds the mould exceptionally well. It will not spring back. The set time can be varied between 4 and 7 minutes, depending on the dip technique. The ideal temperature for the water is 22 degrees, as mentioned before. At approximately 5 minutes, the cast will reach the green stage of the setting process. Now it can be rested on a pillow or put in a sling. It will reach functional strength at 30 minutes. As you can see, the patient has full function of the elbow, full range of movement of the thumb, and can bend the fingers to 90 degrees at the MCP joint. I will now give the patient written and verbal cast care instructions. Sign up to the Benacare Academy. To download a PDF step-by-step -step application guideline of this tutorial, and be the first to watch when we launch new videos. benacaremedical.com forward slash academy. Connect with us on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube to see all our latest products, videos and competitions. If you require more information on our products and training, please visit our website benacaremedical.com.